Okay, guys, let's go. Down, A. Sit, sit. Good boy, good girl, let's go. Sausage. So the entrance to the trail is right here, just at the end of the street. It's very, 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 very convenient. So they're just gonna go off on their own pretty much until I kinda catch up with them. I'm kinda slow in the morning. I find this is actually the hardest part of the trail down here. It's very slippery. I've almost twisted my ankle twice coming down because of all the loose scrabble and everything. Lots of spider webs in the morning. I should get used to walking with a broom or something because I get it all over my face. And I noticed the dogs have stopped up ahead. This is really amazing. So there's like a junction here of three trails and they're waiting for me to tell them which way to go. We're going this way guys. Sausage. And there you go, he's off. Come on, come on Mitchka. Now that he knows which way I'm going, he's always, making sure that I'm behind him, making sure that I'm okay. I love Mechka too, but I think Sausage is kind of like my dog. Mechka tends to stay behind a little bit. He goes ahead. I like this trail a lot because it's the least steep one. I've got a couple of up and downs, but in the morning, you know, I've just gotten up. I haven't had breakfast or anything, it's kind of nice not to have as much effort as climbing up to the top on the other trail. The trail's very narrow right here. I almost twisted my ankle again. I really need to really watch where I'm stepping. really funny sometimes Mechka will just like stop dead in the middle of this trail and I can't go forward because it's too narrow so this is like the little downhill section on this trail that when you come back after a long hike it's oh, I gotta get up this thing and then it's home free they tend to be really really frisky on the morning walk I'm doing a lot more hiking and like a lot more running and whatnot. And then at night, they tend to kind of stick by me and it's more of our together time. So this trail goes on and on and on and on. I have yet to find the ending of it, but it's not like this the whole time. There's a bit near the end where you actually kind of go down like a four by four road and I never gone much further than that yet. So I gotta wait for Mechka. There we go, and then I gotta step across this. And then there she is blocking the trail. But see then Sausage comes back, make sure that he can see me.
This almost feels like being down like in a creek bed or something down here. It's a very, very easy way to walk the dogs. I mean, I'm not worried about leads. I'm not worried about them running off. Yesterday they ran into a, another dog on the trail. I was out quite a bit later yesterday morning. And there was a bit of growling and whatnot. And Sausage tried to assert himself as the dominant male. But they're very, very good dogs. Don't have to worry about them at all. Gosh, I wish you could feel all these spider webs. It's like, oh, I gotta take a shower when I get home. See, it's really, really steep all up and down. And this path is kind of like cut through. They always stop here in this tree. There must be water in the roots or something because they always stop here and drink every single day. Doesn't matter night or day. And then it kind of opens up a little bit here, which is nice. You get a little bit of sun. I mean, I do this with them twice a day, and then they tend to be very, very good at home to get whatever they need out of their systems. Here goes Mechka. So I do this with them first thing in the morning. I get up, dress and go. And let me tell you, I'm looking forward to my coffee by the time I get back. But I kind of like doing it first thing, and then this way I come back and I don't have to go out again. Go have my coffee, do my emailing or whatever, get right to work. And because of the time zone change here, mornings are a really good time to work because I don't have as many distractions. Most of the sites that I read haven't updated. There's very, very few emails coming in. Because when I kind of started here, I thought maybe I should put myself on a like, later schedule to be working at the same time as my folks in North America. But I really like my morning hours here without the distractions. Very, very slippery on the ground. Lots of scrabble. I feel rather privileged that, you know, this is just like right outside the house and I don't have to make any effort to do this. I usually do this trail in the afternoon so that I, I'm not limited. I can go as far as I want. And then in the mornings I do a tougher, steeper, kind of like a loop up and down. But I've been really tired. I haven't been sleeping well the last few nights. So for this morning I said, you know what, I'd rather go further, but 
easier terrain. So you can kind of see it's kind of, there's like an opening up there. This is where we're going to turn around. I call it the meadow, but it's not really a meadow. And Sausage knows this is where we turn around. You'll wait for me up here. So here we are. This is my favorite view, I think, of the village, even better than the other view that I've shown on the blog. So, looking up, you've got like these poplar type trees, you've got a dog in the way, but then you and here's the village. You know, bathed in the morning light, and then you can hear the roosters. It's just beautiful up here. <laughs>